So when we first started our business, we were basically getting merchandise manufactured from a small town in Tripur. And we would get that merchandise here and we would go to different schools in Bangalore and we would sell that in their Old Boys Day or the Alumni Day. But then we realized this is possibly the worst way to run this business because in this way, we're never going to touch schools and colleges across India. Because our business was pretty simple to make sure merchandise is made for students of schools and colleges across India. That's when we came up upon the idea to start an online e-commerce store. Basically, the idea of the online e-commerce store is pretty simple. Uh, let's say if you're a student of an XYZ school or college, you come to the online store, you're taken to a design tool where you can design your t-shirt or your sweatshirt. You can add your class logo and there are pre-built templates that will help you design your t-shirt in less than five minutes. Uh, your class can also view the design and make changes accordingly. Once you have a common consensus on the design, you can lock the design and the color. Then there is a small uh, table there where you can put in all your sizes for all the different people in your class. And once you're done, you can just check out, make the payment online, and the merchandise gets printed in our printing facility in Bangalore, and then gets delivered to you in whichever school or college you're in. Uh, obviously, in 2009, this was a very, very bold thing to do because nobody was buying online and nobody was interested in using their credit or debit card online. But uh, we thought that this could really take off. Though we were ahead of our time, we eventually managed to, to, to build a very strong business when the entire internet boom in India picked up. Uh, Along with this, we added other channels as well. We would go to uh, the alumni day functions of schools and colleges across India. Uh, we would send one of our sales team member and he would be present there with their merchandise and we would try and sell there. That was our offline sales channel. We would be present at college fests. We would be present at alumni days. We would be present at old boys or old girls days. Uh, but broadly, our main channel for selling was, was the online channel. The online channel accounted for about 60% of the sales and the offline channel accounted for about 40% of the sales. So over the years, after four to five years, we realized that the market is kind of stagnating. We worked with most of the schools and colleges in this country and the competition was growing. So we decided that we need to expand and we need to diversify in order to make sure that not only the business is relevant, but it's also growing year on year. So the first thing we did was to expand into the young professionals market, which is the company's market. So we started reaching out to all the companies like Google and, you know, Facebook and, and so on. And, you know, we, got merch we, we, we were able to get their merchandise made through us. The advantage that we had is that because so many students had already made merchandise from us, when they went to these companies, they would reach out to us and they would get their merchandise made. That was on the market side. So our niche market was only students of schools and colleges. We expanded the market to companies, right, which automatically broadened our market to a really large extent. Secondly, we broadened up product offering. Initially, we just offered three basic products, a round neck t-shirt, a collar t-shirt and a sweatshirt. Because we saw that this, this was pretty much 80% of what the market demand was. But since we saw some stagnation, we decided to expand to mugs, to caps, to stickers, to anything and everything that your requirement may be. So in order to grow and in order to make sure that, that we are relevant and in order to make sure that the business continues growing bigger and bigger and bigger, we did two very simple things. We made sure that we were uh, expanding our product offering and we made sure that we were expanding our market. There are quite a few cool companies in India that have grown really big while targeting a very small niche market. One of them is Chumbak. Uh, if you go to the Chumbak website, you'll see that their market is targeted to a very unique audience, right? Cool, quirky, urban women. And that's their audience. And that's whom they've been targeting for the last 10 years. And Chumbak has been able to raise a lot of money and is currently doing close to $100 million in revenue. So what I'm trying to say is that even if you target a particular niche market, and that niche market may not be big right now, that niche market can become really, really big over time. So if you want to start a business, stop worrying about how big or small that can grow. If you've identified your niche market and you think that you can crack this niche market, the business will grow because India is a growing economy, it's a growing market, and there is no way that you know you, your growth is going to stop.